So last weekend came and went in Tarkov and we didn't get an event. I was a little disappointed because I thought we were kind of on the one event a week kind of train. Well, we still got one. It was just a little late. And this event, while late, is something completely different, in my opinion. This event falls into the category of events that can be lumped in with pre-wipe or the start of events that lead to the wipe in Tarkov. Now, if there is one thing I want you to walk away from this video with, it's that no content creator knows when wipe is. And if there was one, they have not let on yet, at least that I've known. Everyone's opinions and their videos, including and especially mine, is guesswork and clickbait, to be honest with you. Nothing more. So take everything with a grain of salt, because we could all be wrong. But more on this a little bit later in the video. So Monday morning rolled around and airdrops completely changed. Instead of the normal loot, they have two sealed weapon cases in them. Now this applies to random airdrops, you know, the ones that just show up and the ones you call in with red flares. On top of this, you're seeing two or three airdrops per raid. So they're definitely turned up as far as their frequency. Now these sealed weapon cases can't be opened in a raid, but they are lootable. You can throw them on the ground. And if you kill a player with them, you can take them off their body. We also discovered they don't just show up in airdrops. We found them in some of the big green crates on several different maps. Now, can they spawn in other boxes or containers? I'm not sure. So if you're seeing them, make sure you let us know in the comments so folks know where else to look for them. Now, once you've extracted with one of these, you have to unseal them in your inventory and you get a weapon, a ton of meta of attachments for that weapon, the highest tier ammo for the weapon caliber, some meds, usually like a Grizzly or a Salewa, and some food like an Iskra or an MRE. So far, I've gotten 300 Blackout AP, 5.56 SSA IP, 45 AP, M993, in addition to really good mags and stuff for all of these guns, 60 rounders and stuff like that. But I've seen other guys that are getting things like 7 and 40, uh, the BS ammo for the Mosins or the, the uh, SVDs. So it's all in there. You're seeing a, a, across the board of all these different kinds of weapons and ammo. So that leads us onto the first part of this video. Why do I think this is a, a pre-wipe event and leading up to wipe? Let me get some ground info out here though on my thought process. Now, before Monday, I was in the camp that we weren't gonna be seeing wipe until patch 14, which is on the roadmap and it's a giant content update with tons of stuff, but that's not important for this video. What was important is that that patch is so big and there's so much to go on. I wasn't expecting to see it anytime soon. Like not in the next three to six months soon. You know, this could this could very well mean that my opinion was is we were gonna see a, you know, an eight, nine, maybe 12 month wipe this time around instead of the usual six month cycle. And this was because I figured BSG was just gonna spend a bunch of time fixing a lot of the issues with the game um, in relation to their roadmap and what they've showed us. But one consistent thing with every wipe since I've played the game is a broken economy or item balance leading up to a wipe. This has taken on many different forms over the years, especially before we had uh, real events or like lore events. But one thing that is consistent is when the game's economy is flooded with in-game gear, ammo or loot, it's been the precursor for a wipe. Now, some events can ding the economy, like the Halloween events or when Lightkeeper took away our traders, but the game always seems to be able to recover and balance out pretty quickly within a couple of weeks. Dumping thousands of rounds each raid of the best ammo and attachments in the game is not something that the game's gonna recover from quickly. Even if we have several more months in this wipe, this ammo availability is going to linger pretty much till the end of it, in my opinion. So because of that, I feel like this is the start of pre-wipe events. These events will scale up and push further and further into a crazy state of the game. One other supporting fact is that the six month wipe cycle, June 28th will be six months for this wipe. Now the days aren't something you can set your watch to. Previous wipes have been anywhere from five to seven months, but it's a good yardstick. And pre-wipe events run anywhere from five days to two weeks. So that puts us right in the ballpark of that six months for sure. Now there are really good arguments against this being pre-wipe events. The first is there's no lore or story to this event. I haven't done that in a while leading up to a wipe. There's always something attached to the event, a letter, a Rigi story, something. This time we just got a recycled picture in a tweet. And this is a picture they used from last year's wipe and nothing else. And even then there was other stuff going along last wipe with this picture and it wasn't just it by itself. Additionally, this isn't a full on breaking of the game's economy. It's kind of in that gray area. Ammo is important but it doesn't change the game for players nearly as much as unlocking all the traders, 100% boss spawns on a map, or making everything free. In addition, with the event being on a Monday, 
That means they could have skipped the weekend on purpose to limit the exposure of this event to the player base. So we'll just have to see how long it lasts for us to really know how big of an impact it will be. BSG is well known for using events to test new mechanics. And there's several here. It's not just these weapon crates we're getting in raid, it's boxes of ammo. We've never seen boxes of 993, AIP, or some of these other ammos. They've never been in box. They're always loose loot, which means you can't find them outside of containers. That looks like it's changed. So this event could be no more than just a way for them to test new mechanics. So for me, I'm still playing the game as if we've got a while for wipe, trying to grind out some rubles and gear so I can keep up with PvP and some of the other shenanigans I play around with. Now, with this event, we also got a tweet about Arena from the official Arena Twitter account. And that hasn't happened since April. BSG revealed they have been playing Arena, like as a group, them inside their, like all the employees of Arena and some esports org guys, the Russian esports org. And they brought them in to, let's say, consult on the game. Feel free to check out the YouTube video that BSG put up. I'll put a link down in the description. But I don't think this is a coincidence. And it looks like we'll see Arena as part of the wipe, along with Unity 2021 and patch 13.1, which is what I call the netcode patch. This is a lot of stuff I wasn't expecting to be all at once. I didn't expect any of these three items to be together, let alone all at the same time. And while it's progress, it has the potential to really muck up the game for a few weeks or even months. Unity updates are usually rocky, and in the past they've done them mid-wipe, which gives them a chance to iron out all the issues with just the engine before they introduce all the issues that come with a new wipe. So with all of this being at the same time, Fingers crossed we'll get a decent wipe, but I'm fully expecting there to be a lot of issues if they if they do cram all of this into one patch. So we'll wrap everything up there. And remember, this is just a guess. Wipe could be this week. It could be in December. I don't know for sure. I just get asked constantly, and it's easier for me to put a video like this together so that people can watch that and understand why I have the opinion I do than for me to repeat it 30 times a day. Now, don't forget to hit that like button if you got any value out of this video. It helps me out more than you can possibly understand. And subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want more news updates like this, especially if you like the clickbait kind of stuff, uh, which is pretty much all this is. We'll wrap her up there. I wish you guys the best of luck in your raids, and we'll see you in Tarkov.